We saw, what, 32% returns in 2013. It was the best returns of this entire cycle. So I think this is just the bond market waking up to what we've known all along, that the U.S. economy is booming, and the stock market has been, uh, has been reflecting that with earnings revisions that have been very, very strong. Uh, so I'm not at all concerned, given what we've been seeing. And inflation is, yes, it's gradually ticking up, but it's not a concern yet, right? So, um, so I don't see runaway yields anytime soon. This is what we've been expecting for the 10-year. Mark Grant is going to be on. He, he's emailing now that uh, Italy, the 10 years now at 359. Right. We got to get moved. I mean, control. yeah, we got to. Right. I mean, we're the same as Italy. We should be. Italy should be 10 percent. We should be 1 percent. <laughs> why? Why are we both? At, 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 you know, is that scary? That. But it, what, the point I'm making is that we were, I think, tethered to European rates to some extent. To the, Germany, which is still below, uh, you know, 1%. So right. that was helping us. But sooner or later, given this 3.7% unemployment, have we ever had the 10 the, years the same as, as the unemployment rate? Is that, does, that doesn't happen much, does it? Look, it's a, it's a sign that uh, the U.S. economy is doing so well, right, with the unemployment. And that's a big risk for earnings heading forward, right? I think we haven't really seen wage pressure reflected negatively in the market yet, but if you look at the big employers of the market, like the consumer discretionary sectors, that's something I think the market's going to be paying attention to this earnings season. Is, is that going to be a risk to, to affect the margins? That's one of the reasons why we're like a little bit more cautious trying there. Trying to ramp up ahead of the holidays. Right. With temporary, yeah. Right. Michael is uh, Barclays chief U.S. economist. My notes say talking points says not sent any yet did you do your home <laughs> did you do your homework did your dog eat your homework did you send anything did he was busy over the weekend you, columbus weekend I, sort of a holiday sort of not i was out of town and i had asked for notes to be sent over but i guess they didn't make it over I, I, they might did you see any after this no so you didn't do your homework i you I did don't not have a dog, otherwise I would say the dog ate my home. Do you think do you think you should get an incomplete or, or do you think you should fail? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you're grading, you, that's really up to you. You know what? I a lot of times uh, I don't even like to read the notes because I want to find out these things with our viewers. And I, holistically. I, holistically, yeah. and I and I, I want to show my my response. To, I th right. think which elicits you know more information for. So you heard that. Are, yep. are, do you think? Speak to him cold for the first <laughs> time ever. You would never do that. Never. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, <laughs> so um, three percent this year. I think not. I, I'm talking about GDP, That's right? Where we are. We, we should do it. We we should be. In the books, it will be it will have a three handle. Will it not? In your view? Yeah, we think Q4, Q4 will be three one, and we th we think the second half of the year will be a solid three, and that's where we're tracking for for the third quarter. So the the data last week, including auto sales and the trade data, I think leaves us tracking three one at the end of the week. So the underlying momentum, as Mark mentioned, is is quite solid, and and we think the support for equities is driven by these fundamentals. Do we? At these levels of unemployment, number one, is it a normal unemployment rate or is that participation rate make it different? Is it really, is it tight? Will we is, see wage gains now, which we all is, want? It is tight. So, the six month annualized gain in wages is now above 3%. Uh, we're not convinced that this means margins are under tremendous pressure. The analysis that we've done has suggested you, you could probably run tight for several years, like the Fed is suggesting, and not ignite a tremendous amount of input-led price pressures. So we do think, I agree with Mark, that the economy is doing well and the unemployment rate is low, but the risk of a major breakout in inflation is still pretty low. Say, say that there is no breakout in inflation. Is there anything that, by definition, markets need to go down just based on strong economies if there's no inflation? No, not necessarily. I mean, the, so for us, we're, we're still very favorable on the equity market as well, particularly the, the U.S. We, our view is that the markets right now are just reevaluating where the neutral or the terminal rate is, and we think Powell's comments about how prolonged this could be were the initial spark. So we wouldn't say that there's an answer to that yet, but markets clearly needed to revise things in the long end. But if it's based on Yes, there is productivity gains, the long run potential is getting better, the fundamentals are better than you think. That's not necessarily a negative story for equities, so we would agree with that view. I mean, can we still import disinflation or I, I've got the feeling now that we got a domestic economy here that's that's really doing things on right. its own. So we don't have to can we still import disinflation some. from around the world, really? Yeah, some. Not I mean not a lot. The that's a good thing to do, but it's also good that we 
we don't slow down necessarily with the rest of the world if we have our, our domestic economy. Right. I mean, the import content is still relatively low for domestic inflation, but that's running kind of flat to still slightly negative. So that we are importing some deflation.